If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about getting into programming. You're probably thinking about switching careers or you're thinking about having software development be your first career, but maybe you still have some doubt. In this video, I'm going to tell you how software development changed my life for the better. And I'm also going to tell you the not so good things at the end of the video. Hopefully this is going to help you decide whether software development is for you. Let's get to it. Ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to be an architect. Going through high school, through elementary school, I always was thinking that my end goal would I grew up was going to be an architect or a mechanical engineer and I think this probably comes because I have an uncle who used to do this for a living it was amazing for me to see all those technical drawings laid out on the table I always thought it was something cool so I always aimed to become an architect but soon after I graduated from high school I realized that maybe that wasn't going to be the way to go especially because if you want to work as an architect first you have to get your degree and you are not going to be able to earn any money until you have a degree so in the back of my head I thought that I needed to pick something where I could start earning money even before I graduated. But I still pursued my goal of trying to become an architect and I enrolled in courses at the local community college. Fortunately, one of the requirements was for me to take an introductory to computer programming. For me, that was a pivotal moment because from that moment forward, everything changed. I didn't get my computer until a year before I graduated from high school and I remember that I was fascinated by the fact that I could write HTML and CSS and control how text or even a picture was displayed you know just a typical simple website this was back in 1998 so that was my first exposure to programming you could say but fast forward to 2002 back when I was taking courses at the community college I already had a family and I had to think of a way that I could start earning money right away or at least another way to make extra money since I already had a full-time job I remember around those times when I had completed maybe two or three computer programming courses I started to think that that getting into computer repair could be a thing, an opportunity to earn money. So I took a course in computer repair back in the early 2000s that was a viable way of making a little bit of extra money. So I took a couple of courses and then I set out to start fixing computers. I would make house calls and I would also build computers for anyone who was looking for a new computer or a used one for that matter. I really don't like to talk about tough times but I think this is the time when times were rough when it came to the financial side of things. There were cases where I had to choose between buying a gallon of milk or putting gas in my car to be able to make it to the next customer call. Like I mentioned before, I was working full-time at a construction company and all this computer stuff that I was doing, I was doing it after hours. As soon as I would leave the office, I would switch to doing computer work. This went on from 2002 to 2015 or so, where I grew my career in the construction industry and I was getting the incremental raises while I still was moonlighting doing computer work. I was taking contracts from building a simple website to building a simple application, building in integrations here and there, revamping websites or fixing bugs in existing applications, anything I could get my hands on locally because back then it was harder for me to do work remotely. At least it wasn't as accessible as it is now. The majority of the work was working for local companies who needed computer work. And in 2015 is when I was presented with an opportunity for me to be able to work full-time as a developer and I took it. I realized that all the work that I had put in in the last 12, 13 years doing contract work and also staying up to date and learning new things, new frameworks that would come out paid off because from 2015 to 2017, my salary doubled. Just in a short period of two years, I doubled the amount of money I was making. At this point, I didn't have to worry about how much the groceries were going to be for that week or if I could fill up my tank or not. Things changed. But I think I got a little bit ahead. I wanted to talk about why or how I I ended up doing programming and I kind of jumped ahead and started getting into how programming changed my life. But since I'm already there, let's just keep talking about it. Two years ago, we were finally able to buy a house. We'd say for a few years and we got enough money for a down payment. And even though the housing market was tough, we were able to find a house. I finally got my own working space, which is something I never had. Last year, I was able to buy a brand new car. I specced it out and waited for it to arrive, something that I had never done before. I was also able to travel to a few places Again, something that we were not able to do as easily before this change. But one of the biggest benefits that I see is that now I have more time to spend with my family. I don't have to work as many hours as I did before. I choose to create content for you, but I don't feel like I need to do it. It's more of a hobby for me. And I also save a lot of time by working from home. In comparison to someone who has to commute an hour or an hour and a half to go to work, it adds up. It's three hours a day, five days a week. That's 15 hours every week 
day that you lose and you don't get paid for those 15 hours but you do have to spend it on the road to be able to go to work luckily I don't have to do that. This is where I get into the not so good things about programming. One of the things that I really stress out when people ask me how to get into programming is to have them ask themselves if computer programming is for them. Like one of the dead giveaway is when you ask somebody if they're able to sit in front of the computer from eight to 10 hours in a day. And a lot of people are just not made that way. A lot of people cannot just sit and stare at a screen. Some people prefer to be outdoors or to be active doing something with their hands and that's perfectly fine. It just means that computer programming might not be for you. Another thing that happens over time that you might not consider a good thing is that when you work on a product for a long time, you obviously gain knowledge as the time goes by. And eventually your employer might ask you to join an outage call. For example, let's say that the application that you are supporting goes out on a Saturday night. They might call you and say, hey, we need you to join this call so we can get things back up and running again. So that could be a downside when it comes to this. But that doesn't mean that every job requires that. Another thing that might help you understand or realize whether computer programming is for you is that you have to be a good problem solver. At the end of the day, your employer is going to pay you to solve problems, not necessarily just code and build things. You have to solve a problem. You have to deliver a solution for a goal that they're trying to achieve. The other thing, and this is probably the one that deters a lot of people from becoming developers or keeps a lot of people from becoming developers is learning how to code. And it sounds like I'm leaving it for last, but you really have to thing like learning how to code is probably the biggest barrier because it does take time you can't just say I want to become a developer and just sit sit around and let the time go by and then you're a developer automatically no you do have to put in the time you do have to learn material and you do have to develop a different way of looking at things that's why I really want you to sit and think is computer programming for you I would advise you to not get into programming only for the money you've probably heard that benefits and compensation is really good I would want you to get stuck in doing something that is not going to fulfill you so you got to be very careful if it's money that you are chasing there are many other ways where you can make money maybe easier than it is with computer programming I can't think of any off the top of my head but if I come up with some I will put them down in the description in my case I consider myself very lucky because at the beginning it was about the money and I think I got very lucky that I do like programming I do like solving problems I really think that the reason why I get up in the morning or the reason why I log on to work is to solve problems and I'm also very grateful because now that I have this job I'm able to do things that I was not able to do before if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification so you're notified when I publish new videos thank you and catch you in the next one yeah you know I was gonna say don't do it just for the money and be miserable but I thought maybe miserable could be too rough I think I've met a couple people who are not happy doing this job hey if you're still here don't forget to watch this video or is it this video I don't think I'll ever get it right I don't know if it's this way or that way but it's one of these